Well, it is March 26th, and if you're already sneezing, just wait. Doctors say this spring allergy season could be worse than last year. Storm Team 27 meteorologist Alex George joins us live in the studio to explain why. Alex. Dan, well, it's all related to the weather. I talked to Dr. Khan, who is an asthma and allergy specialist right here in the valley, and he explained that the dry air during winter is normally supposed to suppress the mold, but we had a very wet fall and a snowy winter, and all of that moisture has really allowed the mold to spread. And as the weather warms up in the spring, we're also getting into pollen season. This is the time of year that it can be tough to tell if you're battling a cold, flu, or just allergies. Dr. Khan says there are a few differences. This time of year, if you have the sniffles, it's typically allergies. If it lasts longer than five to seven days, it's definitely allergies, and you'll notice more itching. The biggest problem that uh, most people face are, is, is generically inflammation. Uh, the inflammation can happen um, in your sinuses, in your eyes, uh, the back of your nose, uh, your throat, and um, like I was saying, um, it doesn't the pollen stop there. Forecast it, it today sort of is at a medium level lungs. with the top allergens being juniper, elm, and maple. If you typically suffer from allergies, Dr. Khan says there are a few things that you should be doing now to help your symptoms. I'll have that information coming up at six. Live in the studio, Alex George, First News This Morning.